morning. Good morning. It is, what time is it? About nine. It's about nine in the morning and the Drury, which is where we're staying, has free breakfast. Uh, we're up a little later than we wanted to be, but we're gonna go check out free breakfast time. actually a really good friend from Portland and she's really really cool you should check out her uh, vlogs and her streams from games because she really knows her stuff and she's she basically does this stuff for a living and she's really she's helped me out a lot with a variety of different things anytime I need help with like miniatures painting or uh, with some technical stuff or like equipment for vlogging she's there and she'll help me out so uh, you should check her out on YouTube she's really really awesome Retrieving Derek's credit card. Tell them what event you're in. Sure, I'm going to like a DM, uh, how to DM workshop for unknown armor. And then I, at the same time, am going to an event that is uh, sculpting, oops, sculpting green stuff, doing things like feathers for uh, maybe accessories for your model. And I really suck at green stuff, so I'm hoping that at the very least it'll do. Um, I, I might be able to do some very basic things after this. Oh, yeah.
and I thought Origins was doing well, really well with their organization this year and their low registration lines. What is going on? So it turns out that you can double book yourself if you want to, um, but they will not give you refunds on tickets. So what happened is that I have a ticket, but my friend has asked me to help him run an event tomorrow. On, on a slot that I have a ticket for. I'm like, sure, that's no problem. Let me just go refund the ticket I had so then somebody else can take that spot that, I was, that I'm not gonna use now. Turns out, you can't get a refund. What? What convention doesn't... That's idiotic. They won't even give you generics for it. But I guess what I'm trying to say at this point, because I'm really frustrated, um, is that I'm going back to how I did Origins before, which is don't plan anything. I recommend doing Origins the way I usually do it, not like I did it this year. I would not register for events because then you can just avoid the whole registration system entirely. I would come to the convention, I would buy maybe a, a handful of generics. Yeah, most events don't fill up anyway. I would just show up to the events that you want to go to with generics and do it that way. Because they will refund generics, they won't refund you a ticket, but they will refund generics on Sunday. I think that Gen Con is a convention where you really want to plan ahead, make your schedule, fill out the time that you want to do different things. And then or Origins is the con where you meet up with friends, where you hang out, where it's more casual. You don't really plan ahead too much and you just kind of go with it. I would like you to sign my game because you designed it. Okay, I can sign your game because I designed it. And because you're a cool person. Yay! Yay! That's, that's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! It's a signed copy of the game!
at Philly Cheese Steaks. Uh, well, I ate there. Derek ate, uh, got a hot dog somewhere, which was comically Italian small. Sausage. I'm sorry, Italian sausage, which was smaller than we thought it should be. And Derek's about to go off and play Shadowrun Anarchy. And I'm going to go play Freedom, which is a, a cooperative game about running the Underground Railroad. That's going to last for about two hours. I have the game at home, but I just never get around to playing it or learning the rules. So I'm hoping that somebody else can teach me how to play the rules and then I'll be able to play it when I get home. So I just had my event where I played Freedom, as you saw. It was really good. Actually, I really, really enjoyed Freedom. Um, it is a game where you are running the Underground Railroad and saving as many slaves as you possibly can. It makes you feel terrible. Cooperatives, you're working together. It um, has real depth to it and it's very interesting. And it's definitely like a heavier game, but I really loved it. I can't wait to take it home, I open it at home and play it with my friends. One thing I noticed that when you play games with um, people at conventions, it's a very different experience than playing at home with people that you know or your usual group. Um, play styles are very different. And it's just, it wasn't bad at all. It was just definitely different and interesting. And I can't wait to see how my own group reacts to playing games like that with me. And then I have an hour to kill before my next event, which is going to be rust and weathering effects on miniatures. It's going to be really fun. Hey, Derek. Yeah? While I was in my freedom game, what were you doing? Uh, I played Shadowrun Anarchy. It was fun. Like, it, it was a much simpler version of Shadowrun, that's for sure. Uh, so if you're familiar with Shadowrun, it's a rules light version, a lighter version of Shadowrun. Where it's just much simpler and there's a lot like character creation is much faster and there's a little bit of like plot point spending to make things happen and it's pretty good. It'll, it like certainly gets you playing a hell of a lot faster, that's for sure. Like the GM was nice. Apparently, it was kind of crazy. I guess he was at the first Gen Con uh, and he's going to be at Gen Con 50, uh, which is pretty crazy. So he's been at this for quite a while, it seems. So he ran us through a fun little adventure. Uh, with a colorful cast of characters and I played a meathead with cyber arms uh, and it was fun. I went to a rusting and weathering workshop at Origins and it was a lot of fun. We learned how to rust and weather these shipping containers. It was fun. Um, we used some Vallejo rust effect and then also some pigments. Um, I wish that it had not just been 100% rust and maybe some other weather damage or environmental damage, mud and things like that, I think would have been really fun. Um, in the meantime, Derek ran a panel let me, let me get him to talk to you. I was running a panel about uh, like favorite anime slash forgotten gems of uh, 20th century. So it's kind of stuff from before the digital anime boom when we have Crunchyroll and, and Netflix and everything like that to watch everything. So people kind of were able to just kind of chat about some of their favorites and classics and lament the days gone yore when we all had to huddle around somebody's fan sub that they got from a friend of theirs in Japan. What's up next? 
Uh, I'm gonna play. Why is there a bird here? Oh yeah, there's a nest up there. Oh sweet. There's a nest up there. He's just apparently he's a union bird because he's working out back. Uh, but I have a vampire game uh, that hopefully will not be full of weirdos. <laughs> So like in the vampire game, we uh, were in Miami and we were part of the Ordo Dracul because it was in Vampire the Requiem. And the there was like a gang that had been drinking vampire blood that was causing a problem and kind of framing the Ordo Dracul. So we were supposed to go deal with the problem and we did kind of by intimidating people and punching them until the evil vampire who was behind it showed up and then we managed to uh, jump him before his allies could get there, his ghouls, to back him up. So we beat him into torpor and took care of the ghouls and then went back to uh, our patron who had hired us and we basically said, look, hey, we totally beat up this vampire. And she was like, great, you can go to report it. And we're like, no, 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 we want you to get the credit. So we got her to owe us a favor, but then she didn't tell anybody and just diabolized him. I was a Cuban immigrant who was a gangrel and was not super smart, but I really wanted to be a good scholar, uh, but I kept succumbing to just the cool powers of being a vampire. What did we do this evening to tie up the night? We walked around a little bit and said hi to people. Uh, we saw a bunch of our friends in the big bar including like James Ernest and uh, Peter, Paul Peterson and stuff like that. And we saw the Dragoon guys, John Ritter and stuff, and Donna Pryor and uh, Lily. Good night. Good night. Do S.A. Do S.A.